done. But you know we have a treat for Wizards fans because, as promised, we're going to be joined by somebody on postgame. I think I shall reveal that moment now. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're dishing out assists here. It's point guard to point guard right now. Point guard, love point, over point guard here. to point guard. What's going on, Megan and Monte <laughs> Morris joining us? Of course, they had a great game. Twelve points, six dimes. Excuse me, six boards, eight dimes. Yeah. Knocked it on a triple double doorstep. Knocking. I'm not mad at that. Almost <laughs> messed around. Almost messed around and got one. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Love the coat, but Megan, the floor is yours. Yeah, West to the coat. I was. We were literally just talking about this. He said he saves it for a rainy day. It's a rainy day Today yeah. is apparently a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> but Monte, yeah. just talk about the fact because obviously Delon comes back. Mm -hmm. The way that the two of you run the offense, it's very, very seldom that we see you guys turn the ball over. Just talk yeah. about the fact and how it is that you guys are able to preserve possessions, keep yeah. the ball in your hands, and make something happen without turning the ball over. I mean, I think uh, you know we veteran uh, point guards. We don't play uh, different roles. Um, the Lions played a lot of roles, played on uh, different teams than me. I come from a situation where I was a starter and I was a backup, you know, not playing and watching the game from other way. So um, I've always prided myself on getting this to offense, and the Lions prided itself on that too. So once he back, you know, he get out there and on defense and everything. Um, but it just give a dynamic, a different dynamic to the team. And um, you know, I bring what I bring, and he bring what he bring, and we. Uh, we're doing some good things. I'm happy he's back and everybody getting healthy. We're a dangerous team, as you can see, once we play together. Tonight, obviously, you're going against one of the best point guards the league mm -hmm. has seen in Chris Paul. And as a younger player, if you will, compared to Chris Paul, because mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you are a veteran, yeah. talk about, like, when you go up against these guys, is it that you want to prove something or is it that you want to show what you can do? Like, what is the mindset going up against those type of point guards? I mean, me and Chris, I've been going to, um, I've been going to Chris Paul camp um, since I was in high school. Then in college, you know, he kind of brought me to the side and told me I was going to be a good point guard. And then my first three years in the NBA, I attended this camp. So me and him talk a lot. Um, so, like, when I play him, I got to get up for him because he know my game and I know his. So um, it's always a battle. He... I always mimic his game growing up, so just to go up against him, and I got so much respect for him, and he'll tell you the same he got for me. Um, so it's fun. I, I can get up for this game. I wish we played him 82 games because I know I could get up with Chris Wall, so, um, but it was fun. I have to ask about your, your journey throughout mm -hmm. your pro career because if people don't really know, you actually got your start in the G League. You mm -hmm. had a stint in the G League. Yeah. I actually remember when you were playing with the Rio Grande Valley right. Vipers yeah. with JB on yeah. the coaching staff yeah. Yeah. and now to see where you've progressed, obviously joining the Nuggets and mm -hmm. your consistency there and now with the Wizards. Yeah. Just talk about the journey of what you've been through because not a lot of people realize yeah. the G League can be a path to yeah. the NBA. Um, for me, well, you know, I went 51st pick. Um, I was drafted with Jameer Nelson, Emmanuel Moutier, and Jamal Murray. So I was the fourth point guard on the depth chart. Um, they told me uh, I probably won't play my first year. Um, I signed. The, people don't know I signed the two-year two-way, which is unheard of. You know, most people do one year. But I just wanted to get my foot in the door, kind of learn the ropes, and then take off. And it kind of played out that way. You know, we uh, end up getting waving Emmanuel, well, trading Emmanuel and waving Jameer. And then Jamal um, kind of took over that starting role. And that second year after my G League, they voided my contract and signed me to a three-year deal. Um, and then I was a backup, and I took off running from there. And I was able to play good backup minutes, average double figures, and get people attention. Um, struggled a little bit in the playoffs. And then, you know, Jamal ended up getting hurt, and they, they put their onus on me to take off and start. And um, that was my best year. And just showing the world I was able to do that. So my journey has been um, a tough one, you know, not even playing my first year. I, they say I played in three games, but it was a total of like 19 minutes. So that's not playing. So um, I just, you know, always put God first, thank God, and um, just try to have somebody look at my story and view my story as an undersized guard in this day and age. You know, they call me small. I'm, t I'm the tallest person back home besides cool, probably. But, but um, yeah, you can take my journey and do something with it. You know, you just got to keep putting God first and keep working hard. So Christy has a question for you in the yeah. studio. Uh, Monte, big heart, too. We saw what you did at Children's Hospital, yeah, so yeah. don't even worry about the size. It's on the inside, OK? Yeah. But with that being said, 28 assists tonight for the team. Uh, and you told me last night after the Philly game that the ball was popping around. What has felt different about the chemistry on the team, especially with having all the depth back and healthy minus Bradley Beal? I just think we just, uh, honestly, I think we just trust in each other. I think at first, 
everybody was like, oh, I got to stand out, I got to do this, because um, we were so deep. But now, you know, Wes is putting on us and showing us in film, like, this will win basketball, this one we are at our best, this one we successful. So um, if we just able to keep doing that and sharing the basketball, everybody can make a shot. Everybody can go and, go and, um, go and catch and score the ball and make the right play. So if we keep doing this, I say the sky's the limit. I mean, you can see we playing good teams and we out there getting these big leads and stuff. So I'm excited. We just got to stay healthy and keep trusting each other. Tay, you say sky's the limit. I think uh, Notorious B.I.G. double album, yeah. 112. You sky already know. Sky's the limit. Come on, man. Come on. You keep on, just keep on keep pressing on. Keep on pressing on. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's all for about. Sure. You guys yeah. press on into Orlando on Friday. Looking yeah. for another dub on the road, brother. Thank you so much. Already. Yes, sir.